What's up guys? Welcome back for another one. Today we're going to throw another part on the Road King here. Um, nothing special, just a little uh, visual enhancement if you will. Um, those of you who have a touring model uh, know that the oil cooler cover that comes with Harley is kind of plain, like a matte finish, whatever. It looks, it looks kind of cheap if you ask me. Um, so I went out and I found a replacement. Um, the one I went with is the one from Kuryakin. Uh, now there's plenty of other ones you can get. I know there's obviously the Harley Davidson one if you want to pay double, but you still like the design of the original. Um, I believe Clockworks also makes one, uh, you know, right around the same price as this. It's right about 75, 80 bucks. And obviously the millions of ones you can find on eBay and Amazon. So specifically, I went with this one because it matches the piece that's right above it. Um, I think it's the regulator. Um, and it's gloss black, so I don't know. I, visually, it's definitely a, an upgrade over the stock one. And for the price, uh, I got this on Revzilla. I had some Revzilla cash from some other things I purchased, so it brought this price down even more. So I figured, why not? It's, it's been kind of an eyesore for me. Um, since I bought the bike, I just, you know, that's not one of the first things I was, you know, looking to do to the bike. But, um, yeah, so good deal. So, should be a, a pretty simple install. Comes with what you need. Comes with a, a couple of uh, uh, bolts here. It's got some blue Loctite on it already and a couple of washers. Should be a pretty simple install. So, let's get over to the bike and get this bad boy on. All right, so here we are under the bike. As you can see, here's the OEM cover. If I'm not mistaken, it's just these two rubber grommets at the bottom that you pop this guy out from. Boom. And, and boom, All right? So pop that out. Might have to turn the wheel here a little bit. And then this guy should just come right off. Easy, right? So now that that guy's off, it tells you to remove these two grommets from here. They will no longer be used. So went ahead and popped these two out and then here's the new cover um, there are two little clips right here that you will line up with the clips at the top Make sure that's in place there. One's on that side. And looks good, that's on. Now, all you gotta do, here are the bolts they supplied you with, and these little washers, and in the back of this is a place for you to screw it in. So, let's get the right size and screw it in. 
All right, I tried to put this in the best place I possibly could here. Um, these are the two holes. I already got one of the bolts in this one here on the left. Um, just use your 5 16 Put the washer on the bolt and just tighten it down. Just be careful not to over tighten it. There are no torque specs given, so just uh, go by feel. Make it as tight as you can without over tightening it. And I'm just gonna leave that like that for now so we can take a look. And then I'll go back and make my final tightening here. All right, so there you go. Like I said, real easy install. Let's take a look at it from the front and compare it to the stock cover. See what I mean, how it matches the, um, the pattern matches the voltage regulator up here. That's kind of what drew me to it. Uh, plus it's that nice gloss black, which I think looks a lot better with the rest of the bike. Especially when you compare it to the stock piece, you know what I mean? Just some basic matte plastic. So like I said, real easy install, two bolts. Just pop the old one off and put this on, and there you go. A little bit of eye candy here. All right, that's pretty much it. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? And compared to the stock cover where this is wide open, um, I think it, autos, it offers a little more protection than, uh, than this, than, you know, with rocks and just, you know, small debris, anything bigger. It is plastic, you know, it might crack or something like that, but, um, uh, yeah, overall, I'm really happy with it. It looks good. Uh, you know, Kriakin is a brand that's been around for a while. I remember back in the days, you know, when everybody was chasing the chrome stuff. Um, it's pretty popular. Um, so I figured, why not? We'll give it a shot. And like I said, overall, I'm happy with it. Let's see how it stands the test of time. Thank you guys for stopping by. You know what to do. Like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.